please subscribe to help you and your motorcycle perform better. My name is Dave Moss. For over 20 years now, I've been helping riders maximize the performance and life of the tires on their motorcycles. This is Contact Patch. Welcome to day two of our Hypersport Mega Test here at Button Willow with Pacific Track Time. Today's test will be our Michelins and our Bridgestones. Check the pressures this morning. We set them yesterday at 6.30. They were 30 even across the board. This morning they're 31.4 on all four sets. Go figure. What are the chances of that? So each one has been checked, put on. Again, we're doing no geometry changes. The suspension changes from yesterday will hold for today. So again, we're creating that constant. And we'll also be doing A and B sessions all the way through the morning so we can see what we've got and where we're going. I'm not changed the brake fluid. In thinking about that, even though it's coming close to the bar, it's not fair to change the braking based on the fact that I spent all day yesterday with both the Dunlop and the Pirelli using that braking. So I'm gonna keep that the same so it's a fair shake today and at least have that as a consistent platform as well. These are softer carcass tires and that's why we paired them for day two because it's gonna give a very different feel. So, so again, that consistency in trying to keep everything even. So we'll see how today goes. Uh, might actually be a couple of degrees cooler. Wow, go figure. Excited to get to this part of the test and see how we go today. And then obviously as we come back, we'll look, go through tire wear, pressure, see where everything is, tire temperature, surface temps, four mil down with the pyrometer and get as much information to you as possible. Time for the riders meeting, I'm out. Exciting lap first thing this morning. Let's get ourselves organized. Warm up carefully. Scrubbing in the S22s, first test. So braking stability while the tire is warming. Obviously soft carcass tire comparatively. Lots of feedback from the tire because the sidewall is transmitting a lot of that braking force back through the bars as it flexes. Turn in initially, nice and easy, but we still got to build that pressure on track, hopefully somewhere around four. That will be great. In doing that, that's going to firm up the tire with higher pressure, probably improve turn in. Now, on to Riverside. Yesterday we talked about the shock and how it was too soft. Settings this morning with cold shock oil. Bumpy, of course, because it's thick. But certainly, drive-wise, much better. I can hold my line or change my line, even if I'm applying the throttle. So, that's a good part. So I'm just gonna take my time this morning First few laps, three laps to get the tire nice and warm. Track temp when I left was reasonable, almost 100 degrees. So that'll translate to good heat in the tires, but same as yesterday, this first session is a scrap session. Got to get all that 1600 miles of road use out of the tire, refinish the surface. And at that point, a fresh read for the B session so we can do a really good break in. 
Let's do some initial tire attempts. Track is 35 Fahrenheit, so still just shy of 100. 150 for argument's sake, 130, 140, 66 on the hot side, 61 on the cold side, turn it back to Fahrenheit, cold on the front, 124, 126, 135, so the cold side of the tire definitely much colder, so scrub's pretty good, we did of course bottom out completely well not we got five mil left but that's going to disappear on this next run for sure with braking so we'll see what we can get out of that we'll reset on the front straight with stock gearing that's not bad for the second run a little more spirited obviously quite a bit more temperature on the fast side of the tire getting more clusters still not unique balls yet pushing harder reduced the amount of debris on the leading edge but it also flattened it out catch the full video at davemostuning.com